Hi, I'm Tim Rajeff, and I'd like to show you how to switch your shadow click reel from left to right hand wind. The design of the reel was to be super minimalistic and light. And if you wind one of these reels, you'll notice a different sound in one direction versus the other. That's a little additional resistance. So when you're winding in, it's easy, and when the fish pulls, you have some resistance. But as a clicker, it's a simple uh, switching from left hand to right hand by flipping the clicker over. Start by pulling the spool out. And now on the bottom of the reel here is a screw that holds the clicker in. All of these parts here, if it's a moving part, a little dab of grease or some light oil is good for this. And maybe I should put my reading glasses on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I can't even see a reel with one moving part. Okay, so um, all I do is reduce, uh, remove that uh, screw pull the clicker off, get my big fingers in there, and then the clicker has a long point at one end and a shorter point. So what happens is the gear pushes against the long one on the winding in, and when it tries to push backwards, it has to bend two pieces of uh, nylon. So now I'm going to take this clicker, flip it over, and put it back in. Replace the screw, that's how easy it is to switch this reel from left to right hand wind. This reel is all stainless steel and aluminum, so nothing's going to rust on this reel. But inside the spool is a, a brass bushing, and that's what the reel rides on. So you want to just put out a little bit of grease or something in there, and then of course anything that's moving. The only other thing that, that you might need to keep an eye on here is there's a little o-ring on this shaft, and it's really small. Its job is to provide a small amount of additional tension so that when you're pulling the line off, it doesn't overrun. So that's how you switch from left to right hand wind on the shadow click. Now that you've got that, I just want you to sh show you one of the other features that obviously is unique to this reel. This is not a drag knob, it's a clicker reel. But what this is designed to do is when you loosen the spool retainer, the, the frame retainer, now I can aim the back of what we call the line window to the bottom guide and that allows you to get a little more control of your line. This is a, what we call a skeleton frame, there's no big outside of the reel and so for some people that are using light Euro nymphing lines, instead of the line coming directly off the reel like on another reel, a common design, um, Instead of the line guard being in the middle, you can rotate the line guard and now the line can come right out of this captured window and that'll help prevent tangles or problems on the river. So now you know how to go from left to right hand wind on the shadow click reel. Thanks very much.